one small positive thought in the morning can change the entire outcome of your day hello everyone this is arpita tripathi welcoming you all to my channel and your very own learning platform the world of chemistry today i'll begin with the new topic physical and chemical changes and chemical reactions so keep watching here in this module the points that i'll focus today are change its meaning types of changes its description and examples physical and chemical changes their definition examples and their characters so let's gain some information regarding the same matter undergoes changes all of the time like ice melting into water melting of chocolate rusting of iron drying of clothes bread molding addition of sugar so the word change means transformation of substances from one form to another now let's know what types of changes are there the first one is natural and man made changes a change that takes place naturally is called a natural change example change of day and night earthquake etc the changes that takes place due to the human activities are mainly known as the man made changes example breaking of glass cutting of trees etc the second type of change is slow and fast change a change that takes long period of time to happen is known as slow change example growth of a child curdling of milk etc a change that takes place within short interval of time is a fast change example bursting of cracker tearing of paper etc the next type of changes reversible and irreversible changes reversible changes a change that can be reversed back for example melting of ice drying of clothes etc while the changes that can't be reversed back is called a an irreversible change example burning of paper cutting of vegetables etc next is periodic and non periodic changes a change that takes place in a regular interval of time is called a periodic change example revolution of earth bell ringing after every 40 minutes in school resembling the completion of a class etc while the changes that don't require a fixed interval of time to take place is a non periodic change example landslides falling of dried leaves from the plants etc next is desirable and undesirable changes mainly the changes that is beneficial for us is regarded as desirable change for example cooking of food growth of a plant etc and the changes that are harmful for us or which doesn't happen according to us are undesirable change example forest fire flood etc and finally 
physical and chemical changes let's know about it in more details a change where no new substance is formed is a physical change example tearing of paper breaking of big piece of coal melting of ice now let's know the characteristics of physical changes a change in physical appearance of matter it means a physical change takes place can be known by looking at the change in shape size or basically the phase or state here no new substance is created although the matter may take different form for example when ice melts just the form of it changes from solid to liquid but basically no new substance is formed as it doesn't change chemically physical change occurs when substances are mixed but don't react chemically and the change the change or physical change may be reversible especially the phase or the state changes next is chemical change which takes place with the formation of new substances example rusting of iron cooking of food bread molding characteristics of chemical changes are it involves the production of a new substance with new properties the new substance formed is entirely different from the original substance taken initially the product of chemical change cannot be brought back to its original state by ordinary means means we cannot get back the raw vegetables once it is cooked now let's solve some questions water freezes to make snow is it a physical change or chemical change as because there is no change in its chemical properties that's why it will be regarded as a physical change a cake cooking as cooking takes place so there will be change in its chemical properties and hence it will be a chemical change food is digested again it will be a chemical change a puddle of water evaporates it will be a physical change lightning the gas in a bunsen burner as it will start burning so it will be a chemical change lighting a match same it will be a chemical change steam condensing on a mirror as because we can get back the water droplets so it will be regarded as a physical change melting a gold nugget to make a gold bar as there is no change in its chemical properties so it will be a physical change dynamite exploding it will be a chemical change burning of toast again a chemical change water freezes to make some ice cubes it will be a physical change because there is only change in its state ice cream melting it is also a physical change and iron rusting needless to say it will be a chemical change
So, I hope the information provided in this module is helpful for you all. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.